The Hanover Rhinos were looking for the first 2-0 start in franchise history on Saturday. The only thing standing in their way was the Upper Marlboro Stallions. To the highlights. Hastings going to throw to the left. Touchdown, Rhinos! Frankie Camacho! That ball was underthrown a little bit, but Camacho physically fought back to it. One of those words you gotta take your time with. Sprint to the left and destroyed from behind by Camacho is Washington. And falling on the ball is Pollard. And the Rhinos come up with their second turnover of the game. And Washington he is down. Keon Joan Brady, it's five wide. Hastings gonna step up. Grabbed by the shirt collar, they still can't get him. Now they've got him and the ball popped out. And who's got it? And who's got it? The Stallions have it. Noonan's gonna break up by coming up to the bottom and getting a head start. Hastings is gonna sling this one out. It's deflected and picked off. Boy, that was a disaster. Rockington gonna drop back, almost stumbles and falls, lobs an awkward wobbler to the end zone and it's caught, touchdown for the Stallions and they're gonna tie this game at six. The top Braddy is on the other side. Here's a draw play and dancing to the left is Fulton Jr. This looks like his long touchdown run, here he goes! Slipping tackles, great open field and he is going to go again! He's just reset a record! He's close. That one was the 72-yarder. Three yards short of his other touchdown run, but this is going to give the Rhinos the lead. He doesn't care about the particulars right now. Deeper in motion. Rockington's going to eject the pocket. He's going to wing this one. It's caught. And it is going to be a touchdown for the Stallions. It's Gorowski giving a last little effort to try and keep JR out of the end zone. But it's going to be a 60-yard passing play, and the Stallions have tied things at 12. Hastings with right to the left. Hastings is going to drop back. Hastings is going to chuck this one. It's intercepted near the goal line, and this could be big problems for the Rhinos. Hastings racing back to try and tackle the man, and he pushes him out of bounds. New tight end formation, single back here. Fake to Butler. Hastings is going to roll. Hastings is going to chuck this one deep. He's got Brady. It is incomplete. And a flag down as there was a huge collision. Hastings with Gorowski out to the right, McKee on to the left, the two tight ends still in there. Here's the handoff into the end zone. Here's Butler. Philip Butler with just his third touch as a hand over Rhino, and he scores his first touchdown for Snacktown, and the Rhinos take the lead. Out the signals, takes the snap to the left. He's going to look deep again. He's got a guy wide open, touchdown, Stallions, and they've tied the score. Once again, 28 yards on the touchdown. Brockington to to Michael Mack. Backing out. Brockington's going to tuck it and run. Now he's going to throw. Intercepted! Intercepted by Stephon Rasko! Right. Goralski in motion, also to the right. Here comes a rusher. Hastings is going to get away. Throw is intercepted. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Hastings is going to push his man out of bounds, and now they're going to throw a flag as Hastings is going to be ruled to have made a late hit. It all might very well come down to this. Third and three. The fans chanting and cheering defense for the Rhinos. This is the most active a Hanover crowd has been in years for Snacktown's Warriors. You just got to love that noise. Here's Brockington. He's going to throw. Got his man. Intercepted! Rasko at the goal line! Rasko running into the open field! Rasko picking out a block, he's run out of bounds! At about the 45! Sixth takeaway for the Rhinos, and he couldn't have come at a bigger time! Hastings with four wide. Drops, rocks, throws to the right. It is caught! Jawan Brady with the jump ball! He's into the end zone! Tying fifth catch of the game that ties the Hanover Rhinos record. He hopes that he doesn't break it. 